My name is Micah Sawyer. I'm the president of Micah's Hugs, which is a nonprofit organization that we started shortly after my son passed away from an overdose. And we started to try to help other people that were struggling with addiction in whichever way we can. Micah Jr. is my stepson, and um, my husband was his father. And um, in 2019, he was in remission from heroin addiction, and he had a relapse. And unfortunately, there was fentanyl involved, and he overdosed, and we lost him in June of 2019. And um, after that, we wanted to really find some way of helping others that are struggling with his situation. And that's how we formed the group, uh, Micah's Hugs. When Micah Jr. was alive, he gave the biggest bear hugs and hugged everyone and just everyone commented afterwards about the hugs that they loved so much from him. We just thought the, the name was perfect and fitting and it was about, you know, just giving hugs and offering love and support to people. The main focus is we're working on our harm reduction. We're basically trying to, you know, if people aren't ready to completely quit or get into a rehab program, there's still ways that they can work on harm reduction things to hopefully not harm themselves very badly or die with things like the Narcan training that we've been doing, um, fentanyl test strips that we're trying to get out sort of in the community of addicts right now so people can test to see if whatever they're doing is hopefully safe or safer. Um, education is also another big piece of what we're trying to do and trying to reduce the stigma around being an addict and making there less shame involved in being an addict so people will be more likely to ask for help and ask for support. Micah's Hugs is also providing scholarships to a, a group that we work with called Pira Vida, which will pay for six weeks of sober housing for them. We would get them in, kind of get them established, um, you know, that gives them six weeks to try to figure out their next step. You know, as far as, you know, getting a job or getting something that they are going to be able to help maintain in the future. Recently we were able to um, visit with a recipient of our scholarship and it's been about eight months since she was given the scholarship and we got to hear her recount the story of how much it affected her and how much it's helped her and to know that we actually are probably the reason she did thrive and um, seek help and continue and it was very emotional. If I didn't get that scholarship leaving residential treatment, I probably would have never made it, to be honest. So I feel like they saved my life by giving me an opportunity to help me with my funding of my sober living house because I would have never gotten introduced to it and I would have never been still here living in the same house. It's quite an honor to be recognized with the North Bay Spirit Award and um, my wife and I have always worked kind of more behind the scenes as the people behind the curtain that are try to get things done and we're usually not the face of these projects. Um, so it's a little embarrassing but it's also kind of an honor to, to finally be recognized and you know for a lot of the stuff that we've been doing. I think that they should be recognized because they're one of a kind family. They've been through a lot. They've been through hell and back together and for some some way, somehow, God brought them into helping other people, helping saving lives. So I'm not surprised that they're getting the award. I think it, it's well deserved. And so much of what we've been trying to do, we know is helping, but you don't always see the, the actual evidence of how you've helped or haven't helped. And being able to see her today was really, really heartwarming. It really made me feel like we're accomplishing something. <laughs> One of our goal was even if we could help just one person in Micah's name, just because since we unfortunately lost Micah Jr., one person helped would just make a huge difference, and we know that we've already helped one person. <laughs>